So I want to very quickly uh, give you the, the what, the why, and the status of the Monarch Butterfly Habitat Exchange. And uh, the role of our program is to provide tools and incentives to working landowners, farmers, and ranchers to create benefits for at-risk wildlife on their farms and ranches. So the Monarch Butterfly Habitat Exchange, so you think about uh, how a commodity exchange or a stock exchange, it connects an owner or a producer of something <clears throat> with a buyer or investor in that something. And the something that we're dealing with is, is monarch habitat. And again, our focus is on farmers and ranchers uh, for the purposes of the exchange. Why? Why are we creating this exchange? Well, there's several reasons. <clears throat> At the top of the list, I, I would put scale, scale of need, and would follow that closely by uh, accountability, efficiency, and sustainability of conservation. So we, we've heard this number of 1.8 billion milkweed stems, and it's just a staggering amount of land you need to support that kind of acreage. I mean, you do the math, uh, and I've done a rough calculation, of how many acres are needed on working lands, and it's something on the order of two million acres, new acres of habitat are needed on farms and ranches from, from here to Minnesota. So how do, how do we get to that kind of scale? It's a volume issue. And related to that is that the funds to, to achieve that kind of scale. I mean, we need everything that's going on that you've heard about you know, the past couple of days and a lot more. So we, we need to uh, increase investment substantially, and we know we're challenged in these days with public funding for conservation, so we need to vastly ramp up private investment uh, in monarch conservation. So we need to provide motivating and incentivizing factors to do that, and the exchange will be a big part of that. Accountability, we need to do a much better job of measuring the success that we're creating in restoring habitat. Uh, acres and dollars spent is a good course measure but we're getting better at the science. We can now measure the quality of habitat, so let's incorporate that. So we worked with the Monarch Lab at the University of Minnesota to create a Monarch Habitat quantification tool. If you Google that, it's online, it's available, and it comes out with a product called Functional Acres. How functional is that habitat for Monarch? So we can start measuring the quality uh, and, and start moving towards rewarding farmers and ranchers for actual outcomes uh, in addition to practices. Efficiency. We need to move more into production line mode of creating habitat. Uh, so we need to you know, vastly ramp up the speed with which we're restoring habitat. Again, the exchange is designed to do that. <clears throat> Finally, sustainability. Uh, we need to, to work more closely with a lot of landowners. The funding is important, but it's not all about the money. Uh, these landowners have stewardship values. We need to cultivate those. We need to understand those, help foster those stewardship values. We have uh, current status, we have five pilot projects in Texas on ranches uh, totaling about 20,000 acres. Uh, they're underway this year to enhance and restore habitat. Th those are funded by EDF donors. We have a project starting in Missouri that's funded by Smithfield Foods, largest pork producer in the world, uh, where we're gonna be restoring 1,000 acres. Uh, the plan is to, to get those pilots up, use those as models, and to move towards full implementation towards the end of the year. Thank you.